trap of my existence. What's up, friends? Marcus here from Saltwater Fishing University. And today, we are meeting with the professor in Reedville, Virginia, going after those speckled trout, which I ain't no good at catching. And specifically, we're gonna look at what are the best lures, tips, tricks, techniques to catch this mysterious fish. That's the day. So we're with the professor, getting ready to go out, and we're gonna look at some lures now. So you got some selections out for us, professor. So what are we looking at? What do we need to know? And I'm a total dummy. So just speak to me in layman's terms. All right, um, so most of the time I use mirror lures and there's several different types of them. So is that the brand? That is the brand. Okay. Uh, made by Mirror Lore. It's a hard bait with treble hooks on it. And uh, this particular one is called a heavy dine, which means it sinks. And um, so one I have the most luck on, uh, it seems to work in all phases of their cycle, you know, uh, spring, summer, and fall. Um, so this is a three season fish. Well, really, it's a four season fish. Okay. And uh, at least here in the Chesapeake Bay. In the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. All right. Um, but this is the one I normally use. Um, it's Mardi Gras in color, and um, you use it with a, a twitching and retrieving action. And uh, what makes the speckled trout bite this one is when you twitch and the line gets slack, this thing flutters when it falls. And um, that really seems to, you know, drive them crazy. And that's when you that's up. when you get your bite All is right. on that fall. Right. Um, but this is my number one go-to lure. Uh, I always throw this no matter what. That's your I'm, starting point. It's my starting point. All right. And um, so here's another hard bait made by Mirror Lure. This one is a, a larger size. Yeah, so let me put this up against it. Okay. But this one is not a sinking lure. They call this a suspending lure. And um, it will sink slowly, but this is a great wintertime lure because you can fish this a lot slower. This is a great lure in the summertime too when the fish are on the grass flats. And you know, when the water's real shallow, yeah. if you're fishing like two and a half feet of water and there's a foot of grass on the bottom, you can work this just over top of the grass and okay. you can work it pretty fast because it doesn't sink. Got it. So the, in, it, in the summertime, when the warmer months, the fish seem to, seem to be a little bit more active. But in the winter, you also can fish this super slow when they're- Less active, less, less active. just- Okay. Yeah. Aggressive. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is a great lure. Here's another go-to bait. If if I don't get a bite on that that heavy dine mirror lure, I will use a soft plastic with a lead head, and um, there's nothing special about it. This is a quarter ounce lead head. Is that normally the size quarter ounce that you choose? Well, it all depends on where we're fishing. Um, right now, we're targeting the three to six foot depth. Okay. So that's just what I found is that the quarter ounce is good for that depth. Now, when I'll go out in the bay and try to target these speckled trout, when I'm fishing in 12 and 13 feet of water around some structure, we use a lot heavier lead head. Okay. I mean, all you do is feed it right on the lure like that and it's done. And that little paddle tail easy, swims. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. And it holds up good. A lot of different species, not only speckled trout, love this lure. You know, I mean, rockfish, bluefish, um, 
I mean, gray trout, it's just pretty much anything that swims will eat this lure. The last one that I tend to use is a top water bait. Um, doesn't work so great in the spring, but in the summer and in the fall, it works great. Um, and this is a surface bait. You know, you get the, uh, it makes, it has a rattle. That's what we did. Yeah, you yeah. walk the dog with this and that portrays itself as a cripple, a cripple fish on the water. Why they like, this doesn't resemble a fish at all to me, to my eyes, but the fish love them. Rockfish love them, speckled trout love them. And uh, there's a thousand different color combinations and there's a thousand different name brands. But this is the one, it's made by uh, Hedon and it's called uh, Super Spook Junior. Yeah. And, Super Spook Junior. Yeah, yeah. This is a very visual bite. You'll see it when it happens. You'll hear it, you'll see it. And a lot of times fish will come up and they'll miss it and the lure will go flying out of the water. You know, it's just, it's fun. You know, it's a fun bite, but you can't always get them on this. And this is, this is more of a lure that you use when the fish are in the two to four foot, you know, depth, uh, according to their pattern that time of year. So, but it's super cool. Those are my four that I normally use. Um, All right, those are four best. This guy, and I'm, he ain't gonna say it, but he is like famous in this area for catching speckled trout. So it is my hope today, today I'm gonna catch my first speckled trout on one of these amazing professor preferred lures. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's go. All right, so on the grounds, the sacred grounds, because you know, the speckled trout business is all mysterious, <laughs> professor. Nobody shares any information. I All right, so I'm gonna start with the uh, soft plastic, right? And uh, you're gonna start with what? Heavy dyn mirror lure. All right, so let's do this. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna do it. So, Professor. Yes, sir. When you hook up with a speckled trout, what is the technique? You're gonna to wanna to set the hook, but you don't wanna get real crazy with it. You know what I mean? You're gonna set the hook, but then once you do that, you let the rod and the drag fight the fish. You keep steady pressure on him, rod tip down close to the water, because especially large speckled trout, as soon as they hook, they come to the top of the water and try to shake the hook out of their mouth. So you wanna keep your rod tip down. I see a lot of people making a big mistake on the rod tip up in the air like this. And all that does is provoke that that bait from coming out of their mouth when they're, you know, when that fish comes to the surface and shakes his head. So yes, we will set the hook, but you don't want to get too extremely aggressive. Ah, there he is. Okay. Nice. Mirror lure. Mirror lure. Okay. Hey, <laughs> one for the mirror lure. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Hooked up in 12 different ways. That one's got a lot of purple on it. Mirror lure. Mirror lure. Mirror lure 2. Everything else, nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Making it's uh, showing here. 
with a little baby speck speck. Professor, two hours, got our limit. I am officially off the skunk lifetime list for <laughs> speckled trout. So I have learned the deal and the winner of the best lure for speck appears like it was a dead heat for the most part. For you got moment. the bigger ones today with the mirror lure. Um, but we both had about five keepers, I would say, roughly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somewhere along those lines. So, soft, uh, soft thing? Soft plastic. Soft what a, what a dummy. Well, this is why. Call it whatever you want. This I, is true. This I, is true. This is why I'm a student. That's why he's the professor. But now you have seen how you catch the speckled trout with the right lures in the Chesapeake Bay.